Hello buddies, this is Gopi from IT Guy and in this tutorial we are gonna discuss about how to read a DOCX file, I mean how to read a document file in Java programming using Apache PYI library. Without testing any single time, let's get moved to our Eclipse IDE and just start with the developer application development. Let's create a new Java project. Go to file, new, Java project. Give some name to your project for this Tutorial purposes I'm going to call this project as a document reader. You can save default to the Eclipse workspace location or else if you wanted to save somewhere else location just unclick this checkbox and go to browse select wherever you want to save your application. I'm going to let it be save in my default Eclipse workspace location and then click on finish. It will create a new empty project. Once the project is getting created, it will be available under your project explorer. Expand the document reader project which is created, right click source folder, new, class. Since this is an empty project, we doesn't get any default class file created by the Eclipse IDE. This is our responsibility to create one new entry point to our application. Entry point is nothing but the main function. So I'm going to call my class as main, sorry main and I'm going to select the checkbox. Once the Java application is getting ready, you just need to add the POI library into your project. Right click your source file and select build path. Then configure build path. In the upcoming pop-up window, just select Java build path and navigate to the library, library span and click on add external jars. Here I have downloaded all the necessary libraries which we need to include into our project. Let's first discuss about these libraries and purposes. Here is the primary Apache PYI library which we need to include. So this is um, this Apache PYI library which could support both the 2003 office package and 2007 office package. So previously our office package has been developed with spreadsheet ML technology and now they are developing using to open XML technology. This common compare is then another li another library which we need to add along with your Apache PYI library then only our application will work correctly without any problem. Let's include all the for all this library into our project. So here I have added all the necessary library into my application. Just make sure that all the library is available under reference and library folder. Now we are ready to develop our application. Just type JFrame and click control space and that JFrame is nothing but we are going to create one frame for our application just like a window. Okay, so I'm going to create an object for my frame class equal to JFrame. <coughs> Within this constructor, you need to pass your title for the window. I'm going to pass this as a document reader. I'm going to set the frame size as set size some 400, 400 cross 400 yeah so uh, next frame dot set visible to true save your application and just right click run as java application the frame has generated which went outside of my recording area this is the frame which we created just now this is, this is called as entire frame which is of size 400 cross 400 and that frame title is document reader which we sent in the constructor of the JFrame class. Since we set it as a visible true then only we could able to see the JFrame. Now we are ready with the JFrame and it's our time to add even to the frame. So till now we have created only the frame. So what I'm doing uh, doing is like I'm going to create on a frame uh, video listener. So once I added a window listener, we need to implement a new window listener class which will automatically implement all the available events of a window within this method. So here we have a, the ID automatically implemented all the necessary events available for the window listener class. I'm not going to use all the events. I'm going to use only window opened event. 
so i have chosen window open event i don't have any uh, button or any other uh, you know uh, controls to trigger a e event so i have just i wanted to open file chooser on window open itself so that a user could be able to select the particular document file what i'm going to do next is like i'm just going to implement file chooser class once you press control it will automatically be now imported into our application so this is my object for the file chooser class i'm going to create file chooser file chooser so here file chooser dot show open dialog so when you call this method what it will does is like it will just open the file when you open up when you click or select the file open it will create it will open one window right we will be getting that window on a frame to validate whether the user has selected any file or not we need to create one variable okay the purpose of this integer variable is like show open dialog method will return one integer value based on that integer value only we could be able to validate a user whether they have selected any file or not to validate user's action we need to compare the returned value with j file chooser class has some predefined variables okay so if it, if the selected value is equal to approve action it means that user has selected some file okay to validate this i'm going to run this application okay actually the frame is keep on getting moved out of my recording area what i'm going to do is like i'm just going to bring a uh, frame within my window so i'm going to give my size as this is for x coordinate and this is for y coordinates let's run this file again run as java application so this is what i have done till now so this is what the frame which we have previously done and this is where the file chooser window is if we closely look at the application while running you could see that file chooser window will get to open once the frame is getting opened so through this window only user will be able to select the file let's write some code which actually validate whether they have selected the document file or not to do so from the file chooser object i'm going to get the selected file path this absolute path will return a string which is the exact path of the selected file okay from this path i'm going to get only that extension alone to get the selected file extension i'm going to use the split function of the string method here path is a string variable split function okay split function will accept a regular exception i'm going to split the path strings data with dot area dot uh, okay to do so i'm going to escape the character split method will return string array as output okay so split the data now i have split the selected file based on the dot character i'm just going to validate whether the splitted data length is greater than zero or not it means that the splitted data has some value and also i'm going to validate again the splitted data index one as value which is equal to dot docx file here it will confirm that the user has selected the docs file to be more precise and uh, we can use this method as well so what it does means whatever the extension you have used we can uh, it will ignore the case and just compare this docx with the selected value now we have validated that whether the user has selected docx file or not now it's time to use some of our uh, apache pui library class files 
So first we are going to use a file input string. File input string fps equal to new file input string. This input stream will read the data from the path which we have created previously. Now again we need to create xwpf doc. This is the document reader file from Apache PUI library. Once you selected that file, it will implement the required library in the input statement. So if you see above, it will it has implemented the x WPF document class file from the Apache PUI library. Now we have created the document X WPF document and it will accept one argument which is of the file stream object which we have created. If you note this here, they have told file not found exception and uh, IO exception. We need to use the try catch black to all those handle all those kind of exceptions. To do so, try catch first we need to implement file not found exception x and again we need to use catch IO exception x1. I'm just giving some names so you don't need to follow all those things we need to follow the entire code standard so here what i'm going to use like the system dot out dot printl x dot message get message I'm going to copy paste the same line in the IO exception as well. ex get message. So if both the exception is raised, it will cache the particular class block will catch that exception and print it on the console window. Now it's time to read data from the document file. To read the entire data from the document, we need to use the doc object dot get paragraph. Paragraph. We do have a lot of uh, methods here so in, i'm going to use only this graphs method so what it does means it will read the data from the document and return all the paragraph so which is of type list of xwpf paragraph data which is of type list list of this class type Now we have read all the record, all the record from the document, and it's our time to print the document on our data. Sorry, which I've written to the data type as paragraph. I'm going to use for loop to read the data of this type. So data in okay so it means that i'm going to read each and every paragraph within the date so i'm going to print all those as system dot out dot print and okay so that's all so what we have done is like so i have read all those document all the paragraph within the selected document and print each and every document every paragraph of the document on the console window let's first create one document file i have opened an empty document and this is the test document created for youtube video I will close this and run this file. Run my Java application. Now I am trying to open the document file which we have created, which is available within this code. YouTube test file. This is the file. So once I click on open, the file which thrown error. Let's go through that error and understand what it does. Then exception three D W event. There is no class definition for the exception. Exam means 
so we need to worry just go to that uh, reference file what are the it actually need a xml bean dll i mean the library just go to configure build library add external library so in the apache py library i have a reference and everything sorry we need to include the xml bean library as well so just added it and apply close just click a control b to build that application again so once built just run that application i'm going to select the same document which we have created for this tutorial actually um, it printed as xwp parallel of object just go to that print line and found that ah, we just printed that object itself so we need to read the particular text from that object so now i hope it works fine let's do one more time select the same file so here yeah, this is where the document content is so that's all this is how we need to uh, read document file using apache poi library in our uh, java application let's just walk through the entire application we have created one empty java application and created jframe and i will share all this code in the github link and will provide those links in the description as well so you could go through and if you have any further doubts you just contact me or give me a comment here or in the video i have added on listener to the frame itself so in the window opened event i'm going to create a, i mean i'm going to populate the show open dialog so just validated whether a user have selected any file or not if they have selected document file then i'm going to use some of the pre some of the apache py library class files to read those data and print it on the screen that's all for this video let's meet you on the next one